Hey guys, Montez Goodwill Outlet episode. I don't remember what uh, the, um, I think it's like episode 19 or 20 for Goodwill Outlets. But anyways, um, I got an episode for you guys. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't have a haul for the Goodwill Garage Sale find. It's an episode I was hoping I would have one, but I didn't. The reason is, is basically I did not find anything for the uh, Hubert uh, Community Garage Sales. So I decided, well, as much as uh, that was a bummer, I didn't find anything, I would go to the Goodwill uh, Outlets, and that's what I did. So I went to the Goodwill Outlets on the 17th of this month. If I can just get bushy not to fall over. There we go. Total was three dollars and 42 cents with the exception of one item that michael paid for uh, for me which was very nice so we'll get started with some of the items that have already fallen out of the bag when i was getting a set up um and this is the wild republic uh, jaguar has a little oakland zoo tag on it i mean the tag right here is a little bent up but it could be worse but it is the Jaguar. So I ended up finding that. And then I also found another Zoo plush. I think this is also Wild Republic. Let me take a look. Their tags are so identical that it's just hard to tell. Yeah, it's another Wild Republic. Uh, this one doesn't have the ear tag. But this one is the Arctic Fox. I love the Arctic Fox. It's very cute and soft. So here I have the Arctic Fox. I'm going to move Bushy out of the way because I got more stuff in the bag. And then we have a little manta ray or stingray. I can't tell. This one, what is the brand on this? That's the name of the brand. I'm not going to try even uh, like pronouncing the name of that but there's that uh next we have a dog i don't know if this one is build a bear or not but i really liked it it's a really cute dog that i end up finding toshak's not even there so i can't even say but it's still cute i like it um next we have a realistic plush. It's a semi-realistic plush. is one of those you know, semi-realistic ones of a tiger. I like these kind of plush. And I like especially with the detail on the stripes and the markings and everything. Is this one of those ones that's like, I absolutely love these, even though uh, they're big. Uh -uh, especially from the ones from the carnival. There's the tush tag. So I got myself a tiger. Uh, next, I've got a rabbit. Really cute one. It's not a dog toy, but I still like it. Uh, next, we have some Beanie Babies as well that I also end up finding too. And some other plush. I'm just going to get the rest out of the bag, little by little. Um, here we got another adorable rabbit plush. Most people know me, I love my adorable stuffed animals, and I absolutely love them. Here, this one is a Pokemon plush. This is Wooloo. I thought this one would have been picked up uh, by a reseller by the time I found it, but I guess not. So, here we got Wooloo. I mean, Wooloo just needs a little bit of, a little bit of love. And it'll just get you know, a little bit cleaned up with the stuff on its fur, but it'll be fine. And here it is. Pokemon. So, here's the uh, Wooloo. And then I found another Pokemon item there, which I'll get to in a minute. I found a Beanie Baby for my collection that I don't have. This one is Groovy. So I knew I didn't have Groovy in the collection. So it was one of those ones. 
I definitely wanted to pick them up. This one, I don't remember if I had in the collection yet, but this one is the sheep of the T.Y. McDonald set. This one is Chops with the tag, which is something you don't see a lot of time. You know, like when you get these like T.Y.'s uh, uh, minis, they don't have their tag, but uh, whenever you find them, they're either in bad shape or in rare cases, they're in really good uh, shape. Um, and yes, this is the other Pokemon plush that I found. It's a Pokemon plush slash, uh, slash keychain. Um, so it's like the uh, clip-on plush, like it shows here. In somewhat brand new condition, I would uh, describe it. Uh, this is the Psyduck one. Um, this is one of those plush uh, that you get to put on your backpack or whatnot. And it's, it's pretty much that. Uh, like... There's a picture of it right there. You just put it on your backpack. So I got a Psyduck. I will definitely be putting this onto my Pokemon backpack that I have. My little Eeveelution bag. Got a couple more plush in the bag to show off. Then the extra item that Michael got me. Give me a minute, guys. Actually, I could probably just grab the bag. Okay. Bear with me. I'm getting the rest out. Okay. I got the rest out. All right, so the rest of the haul. Um, next, we have another TY. This is a TY Lion. This is one of the newer ones. This is the Beanie Boos. Um, this one is, what was his name? Louis? Yeah, Louis. Louis the Lion. Uh, next, poor chops fell over when I had to get the bag out. We have a little mini uh, Beanie Boo Owl, which is also McDonald's. I just can't remember what year this was. Okay, it's 2021, so a couple years old. Still cute, though. Uh, next, I have a chapter book that I got. This is one of my all-time favorites that I loved growing up, and I still like them. Puppy in a Puddle. One of the Animal Arc series. I love reading Animal Arc still. And then another TY with a tag. Here's this one. This one is... Let me open the tag up real quick. Valentina. With the tag, as you can see. And then, we've got another McDonald's TY, one of the older ones. Chip the Cat, with the tag. Again, one of those ones, it's like it's a hit and miss, you know, you know, like if you find those guys you know, with their tags. And here's another one with a tag right here. This is the Dalmatian. This is, uh, I accidentally dropped them while trying to get his tag open. Let me see if I can get it open. Dottie. I haven't found the bigger version of Dottie and the Dalmatian yet. So that's something I still need to look out for. And then we've got the little uh, dog with reindeer antlers. Something cute that Michael wanted to get for me. And then... Got a build bear here. This is the Promise Pets, one of the St. Bernard, um, which I just need to take out the build bear and just uh, get it uh, restuffed because it is very squishy and it should be very lightweight and squishy. So it's one of those ones uh, like I can get it stuffed uh, for free a little bit. And then the last item that Michael got me from, uh, uh, from the bins, which was literally last minute uh, before we were checking out, he went to look over the rack. And 
they kept uh, storing video games in there, so like video games like uh, Wii consoles, uh, like PS2, any games uh, like that comes in, like it just goes on the shelf, and you have to pay separate for it. He got me a PlayStation 1 controller, which is pretty much near halfway complete for my PlayStation 1 uh, console that I have, so... I have a PlayStation 1 lying around. This is one of those ones I just need to get a couple cords for. I just need to get a power cord and an HDMI cable and it'll be ready to go with two cords. I have another controller lying around stored away at the moment, but that second controller with the analog sticks are definitely going to do it. So that is it for today's episode. Um, pretty good haul. And yeah, I will see you guys in the vlog.